best days of the year right here. You look forward to it all summer long. Putting out trail cameras, planting food plots, setting tree stands, clearing lanes, and then the day comes and it's finally here. Beans and corn are being taken down every single day around here right now. Um, they're taking crops off like crazy. I've never, I can't remember ever seeing corn being picked in mid-September and that's what it's been like this year. It's been a really, really weird year. Everything is very, very early. Um, beans, I saw some beans being picked in late August and around here that's just unheard of. Typically our beans come off early, early October, mid-October and corn starts coming off mid-October to late October so um, pretty crazy how early everything is around here. was exciting. First deer of the year within range. That was awesome. I've taken a lot of uh, crop damage deer this year and that right there just about getting a shot with my bow at five yards um, had my heart going faster than any of those deer I shot during the summer. There's just nothing like bow season. Man that was cool. When that start, when that stops being exciting, I might as well stop hunting because that's that's where it's at right there. Watching deer come in that close. <laughs>
<laughs> these deer came out right in the corn, right where I thought they'd come out and came right out. And I was, I was hoping they'd come right down here in front of me and give me like a, you know, 10 yard shot. And they didn't, they stayed out there about 20, 22, 23 yards. But uh, I felt comfortable taking it with a long bow. And um, I, I think I smoked her. It looked like I hit her absolutely perfect. So, uh, man, that was cool. That was exciting. She had like a bob tail. She had a really short tail I noticed on her, which is kind of weird. That was a big doe. Man, that was a big doe. When she stepped out, the first one stepped out, and that was a nice doe. But then the second one st stepped out, and I was like, that's the one I want right there. Right there. And I think that, I think that arrow zipped right through her. Um, I'm hoping it's stuck in the ground right on the other side of her. I've got to find it in all those weeds down there. But, boy, <laughs> great way to start the year. It's uh, October 3rd, and I've already got a deer down. So that was cool. That was really cool. Well, I've climbed down out of my tree stand. As you can see, my tree stand right back there. Um, and take a look right down here. i got a bloody arrow. literally stuck in the ground <laughs> that's pretty cool that right there is a razor broadhead uh, made right here in Michigan I'm shooting a day six XD 400 um, they're brand new arrows this year uh, they seem to be working really good shooting really really good and I actually crested these myself so it's cool to see that blood right on the cresting after doing that myself, but that thing, that zipped right through her so fast, it's stuck in the ground on the other side, so um, I don't think we're gonna have a whole lot of tracking to do because I think I saw her fall right back in that thick stuff. Look at that, big long nose doe. Third day of the season, and I got a big doe on the ground. Um, put a bunch of meat in the freezer, and uh, did it with a long bow. I love this. It's been about 13, 14 years since I started doing this uh, hunting with a stick bow. You talk about rewarding, it is unbelievable. I can't believe it, it's, it's been a lot of fun. That's really cool to be doing it with Michigan made stuff, Selway quiver, two tracks long bow, most of the stuff I use is from Michigan here, and I've got a big old Michigan doe on the ground. Couldn't be happier. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my daddy's channel.